the good thing about strings here, they are Unicode. So this is something that always annoys me in C++, that you have like the fucking ass old strings that just do uh, 8 bit things and then you have like RC stuff and then you have to go to the wide strings and it's like then I, whenever I need to convert from one to the other I have no clue and I have to search again because it's not intuitive and this just works right if I go just here print um, Right, this stuff just works. Now the bad thing about strings is that strings are arrays of U8, yeah, of unsigned uh, bytes. So, what does that mean? What that means is that because you're basically at that low level, when you're going here, let's say, yeah, S, and I'm going to say the length of of S and I think there's even this S there. No, 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 no. What is it? No, is it? What is it called? I don't remember how it's called, but you can also use, I think, this just this, yeah. But they're basically return the same thing. Um, it's getting me here at 5, but there's like 4 things there. And the problem is that... That thing... Pointer to pointer leak. What does that mean? So basically what... It's a leak? What do you mean here? What are you talking about? Are you talking still about pointers? No, strings in this language do not end with zero. Surprise. Uh, no, the problem is that um, UTF-8, uh, UTF which is what it uses, it goes, if you go up to a range, you use one byte for a character. But when you go to like Latin characters or whatever, it starts using two three or four bytes. So what's happening here is that when we're uh, accessing this stuff, like this, there's no concept of character here. So what's happening is that this guy here, this accent A, it's actually two characters. So I haven't really searched that much the, the API to find this stuff, but as far as I know, I haven't seen any function that gives me like the length of a string like in characters nor something that allows me to get that character right that I would say okay so I want character free here and it would return me it would go okay so it's this byte plus the other byte and return a string that's those two bytes you know what I mean so at the moment it's not that this stuff cannot be done at the moment this is just very at least for now very low level okay and also the way strings work is that basically this is a constant. And so this is just somewhere in memory, like the compiler when it's going through this, it just puts this somewhere in memory. And this thing is just a view to that thing, right? So you can go, um, uh, let's see, you can do something like this. Yeah, that's just a string. And then you say, okay, this data equals um the the position of s1 and um the count is just going to be like uh, let's say uh, one yeah so then if if i go print so Right? It's just printing that L. So it's not actually duplicating the data, it's just pointing, it's just a view to that data. Okay? So basically what this means is that 
when uh, you copy a string to a function, when you pass it as, a, as an argument, you're just going to create a pointer and a count, and that's it, right? So it's very cheap to pass strings around. But, you know, these strings are constant, and a lot of times you need to make strings, so there's something that, you know, if you've done uh, s <laughs> serious game development, you know these guys, yeah, so there's this string builder. And the way it works is that you can just go like, you know, again, you don't have methods, right? So you have functions to these things. So you just go like, you know, uh, So then you have to print something, right? So you need to go builder to string. And I think it did, well, yeah. Right? Uh, and then you have functions like, you know, I don't know. Uh, what is it? Reset, right? That you can just kind of, you know, clear stuff and whatever. So it's it's you know it's typical uh, string builder, right? That I, I think everybody at you know eventually when you're doing something serious, eventually you'll hit the blocks of strings and you'll have to start using string builders. And there's one more thing that I would like to talk about that is something that is called here strings so this is also i think in some other languages but here's how it works is that sometimes is there operator overloading yes there is operator overloading this is one of the things that i hate the most about c is i'm pretty sure it still doesn't have operator overloading and you need c plus plus to do this so you can overload uh, like plus and and t times and whatever like asterisk and whatever uh and that's like to me it just looks ugly as hell if you have to go like uh, um, you know if you want to multiply uh, something on a vector you need to go like multiply and then you pass the vector and you pass the, the int and whatever I, I just don't like it so I like that you can just use it like that and you can do operator overloading but I'm not sure which operators exist so string builder doesn't have a uh, plus equal overloaded as far as I know string uh, operator equals cannot be overloaded so I think you can do the plus but you cannot do the equals and a lot of these decisions I'm not sure uh, why but if I had to guess there's something with how how I feel about that I'm fine about that <laughs> but a lot of the decisions have to do with just how he just tries to keep things simple and sometimes doing certain things opens cans of worms and he doesn't he tries to avoid that kind of stuff for example one of the things that is interesting really is that there was a time where he made um, constructors and destructors for uh, the structs but he also made some restriction that uh, the restriction that was you can only have one constructor right so you cannot have all overloading of constructor and he did that he implemented it and then he just decided no it needs it needs to come out so it's interesting also to see that you know I think it's maybe his um, game developer mentality that you're just used to seeing something you know you you think that's the right thing you implement it then you realize now that doesn't work and you strip it out you, you delete it he is kind of like Jesus of uh, game dev he's he's really really talented this episode sponsored by uh, Jonathan. So the concept of here strings are just something that you can just copy whatever you want. Yeah. Because sometimes this may be useful. Let me just put it here because I messed up. Sometimes this may be useful. 
um, like you just want to write some stuff but then if you want to do stuff in in uh, in these languages like if you want like backslashes you then have to do double backslash or you know you have to do these kinds of things and sometimes you just want to write something and it's just uh, easier that you write it as a block and you want to print it out so this is the concept of uh, here strings String. and basically it will just print whatever is here however you formatted it so that's why it's important that it has this here because otherwise if you add tab it's going to print the tab too and it's it's a constant that is a string that will be up until it finds this keyword so this keyword can be whatever you want it just needs to be defined otherwise it will just go throughout the code and you know just error and this is it about strings Any questions about this, guys? Mm -hmm.